Well, howdy. Today, we're going to look at building a crafty system for uh, growing lettuce indoors. It's pretty simple. It's a passive form of hydro. You don't need any pumps, any air stones, any anything. All you need is a container, some net pots, and some plants to plant. So, let's start out here I have a I believe this is a 10 gallon rubber made tote it's filled with nutrient solution and uh, I do have a meter so it is around 800 parts per million and a pH of about 6.1 which is good for lettuce uh, I have about five gallons of water in here Okay, what I want to show you, these are 3 inch net pots and you can get them on Amazon and I will put a material list in the article for this video. Um, you're going to need to cut holes out in the lid and because these are kind of marginally 3 inch, you need a 2 and 7 eighths inch hole saw. Uh, you could try tracing and cutting the holes out by hand but I really wouldn't recommend that if you can get a hold of a hole saw and I can't really tell you how many holes um, I have 12 in uh, this lid and uh, the important thing if you can see down here I don't know if you can there's a little bit of water in the bottom of these net pots so you want to fill your tote so there's it the water is just above the bottom of the pots what I'm planning on doing is I have these here um, they're uh, these are uh, you know jiffy peat pellets and that's really overkill but I did it this way because I wanted to give the seeds a chance to pop um, what will happen uh, they will get transplanted into the net pots and then I will fill all around them with cocoa but I didn't want cocoa to get into the uh, reservoir itself so I ordered some three inch peat pots and I'm waiting for those they should be here in a day or two and so I will show you how to set this up I will cover more about this once I have it set up and I have plants in here. Like I said, I have 12 in my plan. I have a mixture of uh, butter crunch and some leaf lettuce. So my plan is to probably uh, do half and half. And as the leaf lettuce comes out, uh, the butter crunch will have more room to grow. I don't know if you can see it. I have this is half of a grow tent that I had and I'm using that over uh, this this here uh, you can use any container you want um, you can use five gallon buckets even well my apartment is getting pretty crowded but um, I can fit three of these under here if I turn it sideways uh, for now I'm only going to grow the one uh, but I'm going to hang the light from the top here uh, with some light hangers so I can raise and lower it. It's a great system because it's so simple. Um, the thing is how it works, uh, it starts out with the water in you know, the bottom of these net pots and as the plant grows it sends roots down into the nutrient solution and as it does that it drinks and the nutrient solution starts to go down now what they say is you're not supposed to refill it um, because what happens is it develops air roots so the roots that are above the water level are in a very humid environment and they can grow and then the, the roots that are down in the nutrient solution send the nutrients up and through the air roots and to the plant. 
Now, like I said, you don't need an air stone, but I am going to add one just because I think it will help. And that's really it. I mean, you don't need to. So it, it can be totally passive. The only thing, you need a container that won't run out of nutrients before the plant is done growing. Now, lettuce, I don't know exactly how long it will take in here because I have not grown it indoors, but I'm guessing it will only be about a month and a half from once it's up. And at that point, um, there still should be some liquid left in the bottom, hopefully. And uh, I know I saw an original video by Dr. Kratke. He grew a tomato plant outdoors, and I believe he had it in like a third one plant in a 35-gallon garbage can. So it's uh, beneficial uh, to have a container that holds enough liquid. Tomatoes, peppers are going to need more water than, say, lettuce does. So if I were going to grow a tomato plant in here, I would probably only have one. And I might actually top it up. Uh, I might have to because it might use up all the water. But for lettuce, this is a really great system. It's a no-brainer. All you have to do is stick your plants in and let them grow. Um, you probably will need a light, although if you can get them in a place uh, where you have sunlight through a window, uh, lettuce doesn't have a really high light need, so you might be able to get away without a light, but your plants will get leggy. They'll get tall and stretchy because they're not getting enough light. So ideally, um, you want to be able to hang a light over this somehow. I have a lot of lights because I have aquariums and other stuff. Um, and so finding a light for this uh, won't be a problem because I only have one unit. I have an aquarium uh, light that has adjustable colors. And it will give me more than enough light on this. If I decide to add extra units to this, I will go to a bigger light. I have some old cob lights laying around that I could hang on here, but um, I just want to try and keep the uh, amount of electricity I use down. And there's uh, uh, also a balancing point. If you give them too much light, they're going to want to bolt and go to seed. So you're trying to balance the right amount of light with the uh, uh, you, light you have. And you do that by controlling the height. And some, if you have a dimmer, uh, you can do it that way. But you don't want to give them too much light. I mean, that's just as bad as not enough. And uh, as far as the nutrients go, um, I am... I have a meter so I can measure my uh, my nutrient solution and I set this up at about 800 parts per million pH about 6162 that's good for lettuce um, if you don't have a meter and you don't want to buy one uh, whatever nutrients you decide to use I would recommend only using half the manufacturers recommended amount um, but if you're going to grow hydroponically, you really do need uh, either a you know a pH pen and a, and a TDS pen or or a meter like I have. Pens are a lot cheaper; they don't last as long, but they're accurate enough for uh, this purpose. Uh, so uh, you want to make sure that you're you're not giving them too much food. And because if you do, you're going to start getting leaf burn. Um, what I use is is Jax, and Jax has been around since the 1940s. It's used in a lot of commercial greenhouses, and there's a three-part mix that they make. It's a five, twelve, twenty-something is their base nutrient, and then you add some calcium nitrate and you add some Epsom salts and you mix those three together and that's what they use a lot in commercial greenhouses so it's a little more work because you have to take them dry and you know dissolve them but it works really good 
and uh, again there will be a list of stuff I use on the uh, on the article page so for now I'm gonna go and I'll be back it once the uh, lettuce plants uh, sprout which should be oh I just I just put them in yesterday so it'll probably be about five days and I should have sprouts and uh, they will go in and we'll talk more about this and uh, till I see you again take good care of yourself and keep it green all right bye bye